Hey, what's up? It's Brett. I um, feel like I've gotten some comments lately just asking what I've been up to. Uh, a lot of times I think about doing YouTube, but I'm just, I'm like the type of person I'm always doing tons of stuff. So I work in tech, so I have a lot of stuff going on there. I got super into surfing, so I spend a lot of time doing that. I live near the beach. Um, but I still play guitar a lot, and I've been thinking about making videos so if people have stuff they want to learn. Or maybe just posting more like creative stuff, how to be creative. Um, you know, that's originally why I started my channel. And uh, I like teaching other people songs, but how to make up stuff. That's why my channel was originally called How to Make Up Guitar Riffs. Um, so let me play something I've been working on, and I'll talk about some stuff I've been doing, I guess. And um, yeah, so here's a little riff I've been working on. It's, uh, it's just in G. I'm not going to analyze the chords, but I'll play it. kind of kept going but basically it's like G B C A and then it goes to like C and then I noodle around a little bit and then C and then a riff that kind of used the chords from earlier and then uh, I want to make like more parts but I like the mood of it and um, a lot of times like for me the stuff I like to do in music is based on simple very simple chords like um, one four five of the six i was never that into jazz music but then like what can you do with those simple chords and maybe sometimes having stuff that's outside the box um so yeah i still play a lot maybe i should just start posting what i do i've been following a lot of youtube channels on like drawing i've been getting into drawing lately a lot of times they just show what they do so if people would be interested maybe i just start recording what i do with guitar, so I tend to play like 30 minutes a day or an hour. I could just throw it on YouTube. It might be interesting to people. Um, I just sort of, for me, YouTube, I need to get in the habit. And I get so busy with other stuff, that by the time work's over, I don't feel like doing it. Um, one thing I've gotten really into, if anyone knows who this is, I think his philosophy might be kind of similar to mine, or he takes like good ideas, but this is Brian Ferry from Roxy Music. I've gotten super into Roxy Music lately. Also been listening to tons of Duster. Like I used to do some Duster videos, but I found like a lot of their earlier music really appeals to me. Um, there's some tapes where they have like early versions of uh, Gold Dust. I can't remember what they called it, but I, I really like to hear like the music before it's polished. I feel like sometimes it sounds better to me because I like to feel the raw originality of the music. Um, so I'm a big fan of that. And uh, yeah, and then aside from that, I've been listening to uh, what else? I feel like I've been really in, getting in more into music lately. I've been listening to Roxy music. Uh, I didn't know about. Um, like Nick Cave, like in his very early days, he was in a band called The Boys Next Door. And they have some songs I've been pretty into. I just never heard that early Nick Cave stuff. Um, Brian Ferry's solo music. Yeah, really just Roxy music and Brian Ferry has been really inspiring to me for some reason. And uh, I think he's just a super good songwriter. And um, so anyway, I thought I'd show some other stuff I do because people are like, oh, what are you up to? Um, so like I said, I've gotten into, well, I guess before I show some drawing stuff, I'm a big reader. I was a literature major. And uh, lately I've been trying to learn more about like fantasy and comic books and stuff that I didn't read 
because I was very into like James Joyce and Dostoevsky and stuff like that. And so I want to read some like creepy sci-fi. So I bought this series, uh, stuff that I normally don't read be kind of interesting. Um, there is a book that just keeps coming up for months. I feel like everyone I talk to is, keeps recommending this. So I'm going to read this. I guess they're going to make a show. The premise is really creepy. Um, and there's more books in the series. I'll, I like to read paper books. Because if I go on a screen device, I tend to get distracted. Especially with working in tech. But there's these other ones. Seems really interesting. Um, also like the Chinese aspect. I guess it deals with the Chinese Cultural Revolution. Uh, also got this book. And uh, I read Stranger in a Strange Land a long time ago when I was in high school. But this one was recommended. I know there was a movie, but I guess the book's way different. So I don't know. People will watch my channel. If they're into that, it would be interesting to find out. Um, over the last few years, like when I am done working, I just don't want to look at screens. So I got really into comics. And I find it inspiring because I was into music and literature. I never was much into like comics or visual stuff. Um, I mean, I was into drawing when I was young, but... Uh, Here's kind of an interesting comic I read. It's I thought it was going to be about the history of surfing, but it's really more about like um, dealing with loss, and it's pretty heavy. But the art was very good. It's um, It's got good drawings and good writing, and it does go into the history of surfing. So I learned some stuff, but it was also just very well done, and I was impressed. Um, especially like how to communicate some heavy themes. Uh, and I like comics because they tend to be concise. I feel like mock TV these days tends to be very rambling because they have so many shows. Um, this is a comic I'm reading lately. Some of my friends are into comics. This is a famous one from the 80s. And they still do it today. I saw them at Comic-Con. The Hernandez Brothers. Um, here's one I want to start reading. Heavy Liquid. Paul Pope's pretty interesting. This kind of reminds me of like early zines and stuff. So actually how I got into Roxy music was I was listening to it. I was reading this and I put on a bunch of music from that time period. And I'd heard Roxy music before, but just sometimes bands just strike you at a certain time and then it's the right time to appreciate them. Uh, this guy has a really cool style, Paul Pope, of drawing. He's really more of a, an illustrator. Um... This is pretty cool looking, so I want to read that, get that queued up. Um, here's something kind of wild I read a while ago. It's called Prison Pit. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't know, it's one of the more strange comics I read. It felt more like, I think they made it into a cartoon. It feels like very fast paced with all these crazy characters. And, um, it sort of made me rethink some stuff that's possible. With comics, uh, Something else I got into is all this Darwin Cook. This is like one of those huge, nice ones. This is probably the nicest comic I own. It's a new frontier. Darwin Cook is a very talented writer. And uh, just his approach to comics is kind of like what I like about music. It's just very minimalist and gets to the point. Um, so kind of like I said, I tend to like music that's more like one, four, five chord progressions. But... Sound, but does some interesting stuff, kind of like my song earlier I was playing. It's it's basically a one four five with some two mixed in, but it, you know I added extra notes and made it more interesting. Now this is a really interesting comic that Darwin Cook made. It's called Parker, and it's uh, it's based on some novels I've never read, but it, it's a very nice book. Um, for some that I really like, I'll buy these bigger ones. And it's got a very unique style he wanted this to not be considered a comic and to be sold in like fiction sections of stores um i would highly recommend this uh, i always liked like 1950s art <laughs> like when i was younger i used to just go to the library and read like newspapers from the 50s and got really into watching a bunch of tv and movies from the 50s because i feel like the seeds of modern culture come from there and so it's kind of like going back to the root and this is another guy I found on YouTube. He, um, it's called Peter Draws. He has tons of followers, so it's it's cool. He's really interesting, and he'll show his process. He makes very like um, psychedelic, organic style art. I bought his little book. And, uh, 
I find it interesting to go through because it, it's irrational, but it kind of makes sense. And I've, I feel like music, you know, it's very open to interpretation, unlike maybe some types of art. And so, in a certain way, his approach reminds me of like music. Um, he just seems to go with the flow, and like, like I get how strange this one panel is with this white square. It's like, what is that supposed to mean? Who, who knows? It's really up to the, to the viewer of the art. But uh, his channel is super cool, and I've been enjoying channels like that. So that's kind of what I was saying. Maybe I can just show how I make up songs more. Um, Cause I know like as a beginner, like for me, I'm starting to draw. So that's the other thing I've gotten into lately. Uh, every night I try to just draw a little bit. Cause I find it's inspiring to learn some new types of art. So what I'll do is I'll draw them in this book. And then a lot of times I'll photocopy the art. And then, uh, cause I don't want to ruin the black and white. And, and then I'll color it. But really, I'd like to start scanning it and doing some digital color, um, and then learn some other stuff. But here is kind of a cool one I made. It's a ghost. It's like a surfing ghost. And then I put, um, I put. Well, can anyone see those lyrics? If anyone can read those lyrics and guess the song, uh, <laughs> it's basically a Talking Heads song I was listening to when I was drawing it. And really, I was just. I think I was inspired by that guy's channel because it's like, oh, it doesn't have to mean anything. Just draw stuff and see what happens, which is typically how I approach music and turns out the best. I don't overthink it. Usually there's something that I'm trying to communicate that will come out. Um, this was kind of funny. It started out as like a tiny self-portrait and then I just, like my face, and I just turned it into this. I've been trying to play with color. So this is more experimenting with color. Um, this was kind of a cool one. I found these like r these videos on real biblical angels pretty interesting. And uh, I was experimenting with the color. I kind of wish I would have just kept the black and white and then done the color on a copy. Uh, one of my friends was asking to learn some Misfits songs. <laughs> I made this. Just kind of learning some techniques. Uh, here is something I made. I saw this funny dog and then this came into my mind. Um, I actually find drawing like this kind of harder, like keeping it super simple versus like sketchy. Uh, this is the craziest drawing I've ever made by far. I was trying to learn how to do stippling. So it started out, I was just doing stippling and then I just kept going and making more and more shapes and then somehow it turned into this over some time. So it's kind of like a, I thought it was an alien with his eye. He's looking at himself in a mirror. He's in some sort of world. And it, it could be a ship or it could be you know, it could be like some space dimension. I don't know what it's supposed to be. And that's kind of what I'm enjoying, not having stuff have to make sense. I mean, uh, and here's one I made the other night. This one, I just um, splashed some wine on the paper. I used to do it with coffee. And then sort of see what it reminds me of. So I, I kind of looked like a romanticism type figure, you know, like in the mountains or something. It doesn't have to make full sense. And, uh, here's another one I made, which I don't even know what it's supposed to be. Some sort of aliens fighting or something. Um, I did it the same approach. And then here's one I'm doing now. So you can see I just put wine on some paper and then I start to see patterns and create stuff. And I like to do this in the same way like I do with music, like throw some note into a chord and see what happens. And, uh, I like the I like when I sit down and make a song and I have no idea where it came from. And the same thing with drawing, versus like oh I want to make a song or a drawing of this. I don't tend to find that inspiring for me. Uh, and then what I do is I photocopy the black and whites lately and then uh, color them. And learning to do some color has been interesting because it really changes everything. Um, so I like you know I'll make like a black and white this one hasn't been colored yet and then this took forever i don't really like the colored pencils too much because they're kind of dull i wish i would have done it with some marker um, but i kind of digitally altered it you know changes the vibe completely but it's making me appreciate art more in the same way learning music makes you appreciate it and then my 
my printer is broken, so like when I scanned that, it turned out uh, a lot crazier, which I kind of like, just to see different color. And yeah, and here's the one from uh, the other, I showed it earlier, the black and white. You can see it seems a lot different, and I, um, yeah, I find it interesting, like how do you get something to stand out, like this green? Because I colored this too much, this background, and then I realized these figures were really muddied and lost. And um, so, like learning how to get stuff to pop out, and um, I think it's the same, like on guitar, like uh, to bring it back to music. Like when you're a beginner, you kind of might play like C. Final chord I played could be a D7 or an A minor, but but then kind of what I started to realize, and as I got better guitar, it's kind of like what I'm saying with the drawing. It's like you don't want all. I mean, if you want all those notes, if that's the vibe you're going for, but then I would start to segment more what I'm doing. So like, like what's the bass note? it would be A. So instead of thinking of the whole chord, like what's the bass at least, but then like these two note shapes, you know, it kind of reminds me of what I'm learning with drawing, you get stuff to pop out, like. Right, like I'm trying to get those notes to pop, and if I had too much noise, it'd be like the same as, like when I put too much blue here, it overrode the green. So like, in a lot of ways when I'm drawing lately, it's like the same as music to me. So here it's like G. This is the highest note, so it stands out. That's why I'm not playing anything above it. And then here I want to hear... I want to hear... I kind of want to hear... More like that. So this note is E. Kind of like your ear hears it on the top because I hit the bass actually, and it's the same, and then dun, dun, dun. so I'm trying to get those things to pop and stand out. I feel like that's the difference, like as you uh, improve a guitar, it's like getting stuff to stand out so it has a m more meaning and it's like similar to drawing. So, G. I just hit and then here I'm doing a C and then here if you like watch when I played it I went I went I actually tried to hit that note separate so like so it kind of makes more of an impression um, and I'm also muddying the C chord with this E on purpose it makes it sound less bright so you start to learn these little tricks it's not like I just sat down and just thought G, E minor, C, and whatever it was, I'm actually thinking more about the little things that I'm trying to get to pop out. And, uh, and that really reminds me of the drawing. And then like, so it was like, and then this chord, I don't even know why I did this. I think I, I think I heard in my mind more like, ding, ding, ding. and then I somehow ended up with this chord which is fun to me, and that's also like drawing when you're surprising yourself. Um, and then going to this creates a tension, it goes back to that, so it's like... So like as I'm playing music, I'm usually thinking of these little things like popping out, which is very similar to the coloring, I would say. And it's kind of funny because in music, people talk about adding color. And, uh, but to me, it's fun to try to throw like random notes in. So like, I guess if I was trying to help a beginner, or even intermediate people, a lot of times people aren't, they're intermediate skill level, but like not, not 
comfortable creating stuff. But I used to find it fun just play like a real simple chord so that you know, like C, G, A minor, E minor. Just pick a few chords. Maybe you change your mind as you're going, but then try to add some note that maybe you've never added. So like, if all you know is this, just try to like pick a note. Like what about if you put your finger here? And then I think I went, so. So what if instead I go. So I'm mixing the G and C, I'm playing C. Then I'm getting rid of that, so I'm kind of mixing the chords. Actually, A minor and E minor did the same thing. So the, like the idea is, I'm doing C B up here or one zero. So it's like so for me, like since. I, for me to experience something new outside the box is sometimes hard. And I guess one more thing I'd say that I like to do is just uh, change the tuning of the guitar. And then I can't rely on knowing like this is a C and a G chord. So I might even just pick like one note, like one string and just change it like. familiarize it now so now if I wanted to do the same thing that's actually exciting to me because that's not something I would play I don't even know what I'm doing exactly I'm like I could figure it out but I'm trying to experience more of the, the mood that sounds horrible but I like this that reminds me of Weezer <laughs> in my mind. So that's very tense and weird, but that would inspire me to start messing around more. But like, let's say I switched chords and went to E. What if I do A? that's gonna work because I know I tuned it to A but so there I was just playing like basic chords and sound a lot different so anyway um, yeah let me know if people want me to plug to start playing more or just making vids on stuff I'm excited about or if people want some lessons I can do it um, I am pretty busy. <laughs> I might only do songs that I want to learn, but I like to help people. So hope everyone's well. I said I'd give that update. Thanks.